All right, boys. Tonight we got the Knicks. We're on the back to back. We got um. They haven't dropped the injury report yet, but I'm still assuming that Clint Capella gonna be out with that ankle. Um, I'm sure Kevin Knox is not playing. Um, but the Knicks have Kimba Walker out. They have Derrick Rose out. They have Cam Reddish, which is crazy. But Cam Reddish is out, obviously. Um, we are currently favored <laughs> to win this game, family. We are currently two and a half point favorites to win this game. I don't know what Vegas, <laughs> what Vegas must see something that we don't see. Okay? That's straight up. But let's do a quick look at the standards. Um we are we are six games out of the playoffs. We are three and a half games out of the playing. Um we're right behind the New York Knicks. So the Knicks are five hundred. We are seventeen twenty four. So we three games behind the Knicks. Three and a half games behind the Knicks for the playing spot. Um hopefully Hopefully, we can build off of what we did last night. If you take away, if you take away the final five minutes of that game against the Heat, we are going back to State Farm Arena winners. We didn't. It is what it is. Let's get down to it. Um, I expect us to come out. I expect us to come out with some energy. Okay, now I know it's a back-to-back. -back. Players might be tired, but hey, I'm going to keep it real. Bro, they play basketball. Okay, this is your job. So, I don't really have, like, sympathy for back-to-backs because guess what? Just like us, regular folk, we do back-to-backs five days a week. Some people do back-to-back -back six and seven days a week at a job where it's much more physical than playing a sport for 48 minutes. So, I don't really have no sympathy for that. We don't have time for sympathy. We don't have time for empathy. We are underachieving. We are struggling. We have low effort. And I'm talking about uh, the past 10 games. Effort is not there on defense. Everybody says it. But that's a whole nother topic. The whole nother video. But let's talk about uh the game tonight we at home we don't win at home um <sighs> losing record at home we are eight and ten at home unacceptable unacceptable we didn't lost four in a row two and eight in our last ten games unacceptable family just unacceptable um hopefully we can come out with some energy man we can come out with some energy. I don't want to hear that excuse, like I said, back to back. I mean, the Knicks uh, on the defensive side of the ball, I mean, they averaging, they're good. They're holding opponents to 104 points a game. That's sixth in the league. Um, Look like they're having trouble scoring the ball at 27th in the league. So we, there's some, we, we can win this game. This is a winnable game. Winnable game, okay? Um, I. <sighs> I feel we should win this game. Would I bet money on the Hawks tonight? Yes, this is a game I would probably bet for us to win. Okay? Um, R.J. Barrett is rolling right now. Um, we got to watch out for the smaller dudes. Like, quickly. Quickly. They the ones who be killing us. Even if you go back to the playoffs, man. Even though we contained uh, Randall, it was people like old ass Derrick Rose let me take that back when I say old ass I mean bro Derrick Rose, Derrick Rose is nowhere near his MVP form okay he's an older player but man he was killing us in the playoffs so is Emmanuel quickly with them stupid three and Alex freaking Burt bro I don't know what it is I don't, I don't know if he got something against the Hawks but Bro, he come out every game the last time. He was lighting this up. I think he had like 30. 
The dude couldn't miss from three. We got to contain that. Hopefully, the boy is a little bit more motivated after last night's effort. Granted, we've tricked off the last five minutes, but like I said, this is something we could build off of. So, I got the Hawks winning tonight. I got the Hawks winning. I got us winning 110-107. Okay, it's going to be a close game, man. It's going to be a close game, but I got us at 110. And one, Hawks 110, Knicks 107. This is a winnable game. No knock against the Knicks. You know what I'm saying? But, um... Yeah, we should take this game tonight, guys. We definitely need to win a home game. It's Trey Young dad said he never heard when they were, when the Heat fan was in there saying let's go Heat. I was thinking, yeah, because you ain't been <laughs> you ain't been following the Hawks your whole life like I have. That, that ain't nothing new. That's nothing new. He must ain't seen when the Lakers come to town. <laughs> he must don't remember when when uh, the Lakers came and Kobe and they were selling Kobe jerseys in our team store. <laughs> But that's a whole other topic. Let me get back to the point. I'm sorry, guys. I'm I'm rambling. But um, this is a wonderful game, guys. Um, I don't even know what to say. I mean, I, I'm hoping Nate McMillan don't start Gorgie Dang again. That's a fucking no-go, uh, okay? I would like to see um, Bogey come off the bench and Kevin Herter start. That's what I would like to see for tonight's game, but I know Nate McMillan not going to do it. Sometimes I think Nate McMillan is stubborn, bro, in his in his coaching ways, you know, and I made a complaint about that about LP a while back. Coaches who just stuck in their ways, who don't allow themselves to explore different avenues of approach until they're forced to. 17 and 24, you might want to start trying some other stuff that makes sense. Not starting TLC. Not starting dang. That makes no sense, Nate. They're not good, Nate. Okay? But, I mean, that's all I really have for tonight's game, man. I mean, we just got to come out with effort. We have to play D2. The defense has to improve. We have to have plays. We have to execute in the clutch, which we don't, you know. But I got us winning. But let me add this, guys. Would I be surprised if we lost the game? No. I would not be surprised if we found a way to lose the game. But hopefully the boys come together as a unit, man. Like John said, come together as a unit. Let's build off. Hopefully somebody on the plane putting positive Vibes and the guy said about their effort last night. Granted, we fucked up the game, but for most of the game, we was there. We was focused. We did our thing. We looked like the old Atlanta Hawks basketball from last, the old Hawks. We looked like the Hawks from last year, second half of the season in the playoffs. Okay? Um, but that's all I got, man. Let me wrap this up. Tonight, hey, if you want to see my initial, my initial reaction after the game, man, come join New Pack City, bro, on Facebook, man. I go live after every game, man. That's my true emotions. That's why I, these videos, that's what I wait till the next day when I'm calm and I can just look at the information. But if you want my initial reaction after the game, come join New Pack City, bro. And you'll see my real, my initial reaction when I be emotional. But now... And that's why I wait a day to make my bills so I can calm down, look at the numbers, and make a um and uh have rational thoughts and ideas instead of saying something crazy or some hot takes like that. But it's your boy in my 4K20. Like, comment, subscribe. Nick fans, what are y'all thinking tonight? I'm sure y'all thinking y'all gonna win this game. I'm a hawk, you know, I'm riding with the hawks. 110-107. Put your score predictions in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy. I'm out. Hawks up.